Good. Stop. First question. <laughs> Don't offend the kids. It's out tomorrow, the 31st of August, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Love yeah. that yes. day. Yep. <laughs> Tell me about the title, Don't Offend the Kids. I originally wrote the original Don't Offend the Kids, like, in year 11 or 10. Um, and from that, it's changed to be this big full band song. It's one of our, like, biggest songs in the set. Mm. I'd reckon. Originally, it literally had no name for like four years. I don't even know where the name came from. Like it, it's it's part of the bridge, but it just... Was it in the lyrics originally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's in the bridge, okay. but it's yeah. just... Mm. It was never called that until like maybe four years in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really random, but yeah. I don't know. It's, a, it's about high school. It's about high school popularity and like that feeling of getting kind of lost mm. in the crowd. And I don't know if... I'm sure many other people feel this way, but like, you know, when you're having a conversation with someone new and you walk out of that conversation, you're like, why did I say what I just said? Like, I've just ruined my life and I've ruined my reputation and everything. And literally the other person isn't even thinking about it. But I think, yeah, I don't know. It was just this whole idea of kind of falling through the cracks. Mm. Yeah, Yeah, I do that every single day. I always walk out of the conversation (laughs) feeling like, what did I just say? It's the worst. And you'll think about it in the shower and stuff. Yeah, (laughs) you wake up at 3 a.m. One night, you just (laughs) can't believe I said that. Why did I say that seven years ago? (laughs) (laughs) What kind of journey do you think this song is taking the sound of Alestial on? It plays to the more straight ahead sort of pop almost yeah that straight ahead pop sing-along mm. sort of anthem <laughs> yeah screamed it's of, like an anthem i reckon yeah like yeah. off yeah all the songs on the record that's probably yeah the most anthem dance mm. sing-along rah 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 so <laughs> it's very <laughs> i think so i think it i think younger kids sort of like that and that mm. whole like idea of being about high school and whatnot i think kids resonate with that um, yeah. We've seen that at shows mm. and whatnot so far. So I think it'll, um, it's one for future generations. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> keep on relating. <laughs> Timeless. That's it. That's a, thank you, Bonnie. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's okay. That's the good word. It's a good word. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. It gives me a real like naughties vibe for some reason. I don't know why, but I hear like almost gorillas, yeah. baby but pop, but also very <laughs> angsty. Yeah, yes. angsty pop. Angsty pop. Princess pop. Princess pop. Yeah. What's yeah. princess pop? Yeah, remember what? when we first, not princess pop, princess punk. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, is that like the punk. beach bunny thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. we were trying oh. to like define beach bunny, the band, as a genre, and we came up with princess punk. Wasn't that we on the like, way down to Sydney? Yeah. 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 We want to do princess punk songs. <laughs> you guys are very princess punk. Oh, thank you. I'll You're take all that. little princesses. Yeah. <laughs> little princess. That's all punk rock, man. Yeah. So what excites you most about your gig at the Hammer? I think we just love playing that stage. Um, the sound is always so good there. We've played there a couple of times now and it's just, they always get bang on every mm. time. Yeah, and shout out, the, Liam. The crowd's always, <laughs> crowd always just got good energy too. Yeah. yeah. Good to feed off that. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we love it. It's just a cool stage, cool room. Um, I think the bands we're playing with are going to be really cool. We've never played with them before. We've got Carnivara and So She Can Fly. Mm. Um, They're heavier bands, right? Yeah, I, I actually, I actually met the guy. Like his name's Dave mm. from So She Can Fly, and I was at Blue Kahuna's, and he was behind the bar. <laughs> no and way. He was like. Are you in a bed? And I was like, I am in a bed. He's like, I know you. And I was like, <laughs> what? And then, yeah, he was telling me about their band, So She Can Fly, and how they were new. And I was like, oh, nice. we need to do a line together. And it all came came into place. Wow. Yeah. Eventually. No, that's great. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. been around a while. I don't know if you remember the like Apricots. Mm, okay. I think Starstruck like, with him too. Yeah. Like yeah. Like he's always mm. been around. Nice. They're going to be cool. I'm really excited to play with both those bands. Yeah. Um, yeah, a bit heavy, but, you know. Oh, still a great fit. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah also, we've got some heavier cool. tunes in the set as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I think so. it feels good playing the Hamo. Like, we've played there, I don't Couple know, times, eh? two, three mm. times now. It feels almost like a bit of home Yeah. already. Like, we're already familiar with that stage. I mean, we were there for the well 
show yep, that you guys that's right. are at. Yeah, yeah. So I have one final question. You guys are really, really tight as a band. I'd like to know, what are rehearsals like for Alestiel? <laughs> Not tight. <laughs> Not tight. <laughs> when they happen. <laughs> when they yeah, happen. Yeah, we, we, we rehearse so much, like... Like a good Back once, the day, you know? like a once <laughs> or twice a week. Yeah, yeah and wow. then we just got to a point where we come to rehearsals and not know what to practice because everything was already mm. done. Yeah. So at the moment, our practices are more like talking about band stuff, <laughs> other than the whole music side of things, yeah. like admin. the ad- admin side, and learning some new songs. Yeah, it's yeah. we're working on. But yeah. even like, like rehearsals is really just playing shows yeah yeah nowadays. like i mean we the, play like yeah. once or twice a week mm. pretty yeah. much yeah. yeah so that's pretty much taking up what practice is anyway yeah. yeah i think i think that's the best way to practice anyway because it's yeah. in the safety of your own practice space it's a bit uh protected and yeah stuff doesn't go wrong that's true. Crowds don't do weird stuff. Like you're not. <laughs> oh, we've had. You're not cramped in. What's the weirdest in. thing that a crowd oh, member's uh, done? We were, playing, what, oh, what's what's we were playing up in Yamba, and for like seven songs of us, there's just this bloke in the audience just, <laughs> <laughs> just constantly. Like not yeah, stopping. Like, what? It was hilarious. Piss drunk. Like uh, hammered. That's so strange. I didn't even know what to do. Yeah. Like, I mean, what do you we're do? just looking at Did each other. Did you give like, him a shout out or something? We <laughs> were like, hey man. Do you, you want to stop? <laughs> 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 but just would keep oh. going. They had to kick him out. Shit. We well, nicknamed him Rick like, Flair. It was yeah, funny. It was like seven <laughs> Where of his he's mates. a bit of a Yamba staple, this bloke. Well, though. well yeah, that's what I was saying. He's banned from every venue <laughs> except <laughs> that one. Like, it, he's just known. He's like... <laughs> it was so good. Yeah, what, whatever his name it was. was like Damo or something. It's like, yeah, yeah Damo. <laughs> <be Damo>. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other name that it would be. It would fit. But Damo. I reckon. It's an, it's an O name. It's John O. Damo. Yeah, yeah, yeah Damo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, just constantly just siren, just. Sirening yeah. the whole so gig. It's so weird. Nuts. It's so weird. And did it interrupt the set or? Well, we just kept going. Power through. But, yeah. like, I think mm. he came in, like, halfway through the set. Okay. And then. It was like for like four songs just like that and then they were just like man you're gonna have to leave like yeah. you're starting to clear out the room like people started leaving because oh, no. of him yeah so people had come up while we're playing and they're like poor Damo I'm so sorry. Yeah. Like, have to no. leave. <laughs> yeah nah that was, that it's was all good though it all worked out and then he fell at the door going yeah. out like made, made a big scene yeah of course so that doesn't happen in rehearsal no so that's why <laughs> That's why playing Keeps shows is but the best rehearsal. It teaches <laughs> resilience and it kind of gives us that sort of like crowd. Yeah, because like in practice, you can restart the song. You can go, oh, yeah. well, I messed that. But when you're in it, you sort of just go, well, yeah. just yeah. got to send it. Learn on the system. job, mate. Yeah. Just we we do still have practice from time to so. time. Yeah. But it is mostly, yeah, us learning new songs now for future. Yeah. 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 From Don't want the set to get old. <laughs> yeah. Sort of thing. yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, guys. Well, congratulations on this brand new single. It's Thank really you. exciting. Don't offend the kids. Mm-hmm. Alestial, go check it out. Thank you so much for joining me yeah. today. Cheers. Thank, Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you. Thank you. Sick. <laughs>